Well, it happened about two years ago in, in late 2010 when I met Tori's um, trainer, mm -hmm. manager, boxer, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, aficionado, um, Craig Flatiger. Um, he was doing some work for me. He does contracting work. And um, we got to talking, and he told me about Tori and her great story. Um, and I felt it was a great idea of being a filmmaker to, to uh, kind of kill two birds with one stone, and that was to not only help Tori and get her story out, but also to um, help um, tell her story, make a documentary, which is something I had never done before. Okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, to add to that, Tori, um, um, as a project was coming together, uh, was there any, you know, initial reservations as to doing a documentary, you know, something that's a little more personal uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, something that's uh, a little different? Did were, were you always on board, or was it something that, that you had, you know, reservations about? We thought about doing one before, but we just, we, we, didn't, we didn't do it until he came along with the idea, and we was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> works for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, this is actually to both of you guys. Um, thus far, uh, what, what has been, well, maybe I should ask uh, you, Jeff, because I, I was, you know, speaking with you a little earlier, I know, you know, things are, you know, hectic with you, Tori, so you didn't really have a chance to see it in its entirety until today. Um, so, Jeff, uh, w what's been the reaction thus far, you know, uh, with the film? Very positive. Um, it, again, we're helping to get Tori's name out there because, again, um, women and boxing don't really mix. Um, it's not that popular here mm -hmm. in the United States. Um, yes, it is in Europe. Um, a little more so in Bermuda and yeah. in the islands. And in different countries. They really support their female boxers. But in the United States, we don't get the backing or the support that the males get. And I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to fight for it, but like I said before, we do just as much, if not more, than what they do. And we do all this training while we're still raising kids. You know, most guy boxers, when they have you know, a fight and they prepare for a fight, they leave their families. But we as females, we can't. We don't have that privilege. But, I mean, I just feel that we do more, but we don't get recognized for it. Okay, okay. Uh, well, to add to that, have there been any, you know, interesting uh, stories that you've had in terms of uh, reactions from, from people that have, you know, had a chance to see the film? Well, a lot of people wonder... How can she do it all? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a testament to, to what, you know, Tori mm -hmm. Nelson is, is all about. Um, as it states in the film, she's up at 6 in the morning, and some nights she's going to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, getting uh, four or five hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she works in what has been termed the, the richest county in the, in the nation, um, which is Loudoun County, Virginia. And you have to wonder, well, why, why do you live there? Why do you work there? And I think it goes back, and I don't want to speak for you, but yeah, it, it goes back to your kids and exactly. providing them an education uh, that they might not otherwise receive anywhere else. Exactly. But to do that, she's got to work three, four jobs that aren't the best paying jobs no. and that get you up early and keep you up late. So yeah, right. that's a testament to Tori and her uh, character. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I have a little sidebar for you, Tori. Um, uh, being that you know the subject of the documentary is about boxing, you know, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of uh, buzz thus far in terms of uh, um, uh, 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 girl girl fighting. Um, so I guess the question I have is, uh, have you been following uh, Ronda uh, Rousey at all, and you know her story? No, with, I've with the heard UFC? of her. I've heard of her, but I haven't followed her story. I have. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Have you? Do you have? Do you? Do you have an idea of you know what what the whole you know story is in, in no. that regard with her joining the UFC? I mean, even even if you haven't, I mean, is there? What, what do you? What, what do you think about you know that uh, that um uh, that that particular idea of having uh, um, a woman uh, join the UFC in terms of mixed martial arts? I love it. Um, I salute her. You know, more power to her. I feel that we shouldn't be, um, because we're females, we shouldn't be excluded from anything. If we can have babies, 
<laughs> we can do anything. Sure. I don't sure. see any men pushing out no babies. <laughs> sure. So I don't see why we should be, you know, limited to whatever we do. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, final question for you guys. Uh, I know you said that you had a couple of fights that you have uh, coming up. Can you go into a little detail of, you know, the upcoming matches that you do have? Yes, I have a fight coming up um, in January. I'll be going back to Bermuda for the WBC, WIBA, and WBO, I believe, um, title belts. And then after that, we'll see where my manager takes me after that. But we focus on one one at a time. We don't ever look, overlook anyone. We, we take one fight, and we serious on that one fight. And then after I win that one, then we go to the next. Okay. Okay. And Jeff, uh, is the ne next project that you're working on will it be a documentary, or are you thinking about something that's a full-length feature? Um, not so much the documentary. I think um, working on Tori's project because it's such a large, uh, a big commitment. Um, again, it takes away from my family. I did this mm -hmm. part time. It took me a year and a half to put it together, evenings, weekends, and such. And then, of course, we had to wait for the fight wait for the next mm -hmm. fight. In yeah. some cases, that's, that's months and months and months exactly. um, apart. Um, got some promises in 2013 for hopeful uh, you know, television uh, work, okay. but okay. nothing's written in stone as yet. Right. But we yes. keep our fingers crossed. You got it, you got it. You speak it in your life and you accept it. Claim it. We're, yeah, right. we're, we're, right. we're working on it, just waiting for the logistics. Okay. All right then. Well, thank you for your time. Nice thank you, Tori, you. Thank and uh, thank, thank you, Jeff. You. All right. Thanks thank for having you. us. Problem.